all alone. That's why I'm madly in love. Ooh, darling, I just can't stop for what I'm feeling. And there's not a day that goes by that I'm not madly in love with you, baby. Who, darling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, this story deserves the front page, as you can see, is going to get. And this story is about a crafty, crafty, six-foot-two-inch trans inmate fooled authorities and was glossed in a women's prison where he allegedly raped, great, raped, raped two uh, inmates. <clears throat> okay? <sighs> a former prison psychology has revealed how transgender detainee Tremaine Carroll should never have been moved to a women's prison in the first place where two female inmates say he raped them. Y'all know I gotta be real careful because, you know, YouTube make it real difficult to um, talk on stuff, okay? So when you s see me talking outside the box, figure it out. Y'all know what great mean. You put a, fr uh, a G in front of the R-A-P-E and there you have it. Anyway... Carol faces a trial for the alleged double grape uh, at a Central California women's prison, CCWF, where he was transferred in August 2021 after telling officials he was trans and did not post uh, a threat to women. Pose, I should say. So he's been a running amok. Um... Since 2021, I mean, just doing what he want to do. Now, in a sensational interview, one of the uh, Carol's former psychologists has described the now 51-year-old relentless uh, person of playing games with the prison system to his own advantage and should never have been removed in the first place. Moved in the first place, I'm saying. Dr. Jack Miller says Carol's case exposes deep flaws in a correctional system that puts too much power in the hands of crafty inmates. The California law that in 2021 allowed men to say that they were trans and to ask to serve their time in a women's lockup is just another example of a freaking fracking broken system. I mean, there's no way in the world I look at this person and think he's making some type of transition. I mean, it, it, there's nothing about him that exudes he wants to, uh, that he's trans. This is sick. See, see what I'm saying about going too damn far? You give some people an inch, they take a god darn mile. Now, he in there uh, having his way because he done told y'all dummies that he's a transgender. And y'all, this this stuff is so crazy that you decide to let him in there with women. Okay? And I don't. at the end of the day, I don't give a damn how mad y'all get. You only born a man or a woman. You can like men while you would... Uh, a, a man and you can like women while you a woman but there is no sexual um apparatus that allows you to say i'm an in-betweener that's all in your thinking dog <laughs> i'm just letting you know 
it's not in the biological assembly, okay? And you may not like how you was assembled by the creator or creation, whichever. You may not like it. But everything, who is you? Everything in life that we go through, we don't like. Some kids don't like being born in crack houses, having to live with crackhead parents. But it's part of their story, and they got to deal with it, okay? So I want to know who these people are that feel that they don't like where they're, the sex they're born into. I can get with that one. But if you a woman, you still can like women. If you a man, you still can like men. What is all this uh, destructive type of uh, dismembering and disassembling your body when you and then saying, "I'm proud of who I am," but you're not. Because if you was, you wouldn't be cutting yourself all up. Because you would be proud just the way you are. Period. Now, that's my take on it. Because it's it's a startling indictment from an insider that raises tough questions for Democratic Governor Den uh, Gavin Newsom about the progressives who supported this crazy-ass bill, 132, as it's known. Miller's revelations showcase the risks of letting intact biological males including sex offenders, live, sleep, and shower in dormitories with women. If you want to be a woman, you want to get surgery, and you want to be in there with women, then you should have um, not just reassignment surgery. You're going to have to have some type of castration. Okay, because that's the only way you ain't. That's the only way we're going to find out if this is real, because this is crazy. What they saying about this guy is that he's one of the really frequent filers, constantly going from one institution to another, constantly looking for a higher level of care, says Miller, using an alias to protect his identity. Miller had about a dozen sessions with Carol in the years before he came out as trans. He was never interested in counseling, says Miller. The appointments were always a vehicle to do something else. Scheming detainees game the system seeking better conditions, including transfers to more comfortable prisons with tastier meals and looser rules, he says. Carroll also feigned disabilities to gain preferential treatment you know, or special treatment. That included... Pretty much any disability that somebody could put on a vest for, he wore it. In a wheelchair, uh, he had to get a cane. It didn't really matter. He had them all. Carol was soon transferred to a different facility as his assessor's um, sessions with Miller ended. Now, upon learning of the double great allegations against Carol last month, Miller says that he was not surprised. His reaction was sarcastically, what a shocker. How, how far are we going to deal with this perception of freedom gone mad? First black people want freedom, in the words of Gil Scott. First black people want freedom. Now everybody in the damn world feel that they've been mocked and need freedom, and, but you ain't took care of the originators who was done wrong. The original people. The original people who set out on the quest for freedom. You haven't addressed that yet. And it's 2024. And here come all these other Johnny come lately standing up, gaming the system, doing all kinds of shit. And y'all allowing to go. Miller also said he had no idea of trans of, of Carol's trans transfer request, but says his history of gaming the system was a red flag in the first place, and it was overlooked. You know, I'm utterly shocked that some psychologists approved this transfer 
to a women's prison. Carol is due back in Madeira Superior Court for a preliminary hearing on July 8th. The 6 feet 2, 200 pound man with facial hair has not gone undergone any any sex change treatments insane okay I want to know what y'all think about it because maybe it's just me maybe it's just me so if you like what you hear subscribe and share my channel tell me what y'all think about this freaky crafty six foot two inch trend that's done found his way into the women's prison and was knocking them down like bowling pins. What y'all think about this? I mean, it's just insane. I'll see you in the next video.